adding a basic pivot chart to an existing pivot table. Those are the things that we're going to look at in this exercise. So here we are in our My Pivot Table um, workbook. I haven't given it that name, but in the exercise, that's the name it should be given. Now down here, we're going to go over to our Total Sales Worksheet. This is where we find our pivot table. Now you'll notice that I have my Pivot Table Analyze tab, and I also have a Design tab. Now if I click outside of my pivot table, those tabs go away. They're contextual tabs, right? So if I click inside my pivot table, just anywhere, anywhere inside my pivot table, I will then have these uh, ribbon tabs available. Next I'm going to go to my pivot table analyze uh, tab, ribbon tab. Over here in the tools group, I'm going to find pivot chart. I'm going to click this one time and I get my little insert chart dialog box open and from here I'm going to come down to my pie options and then up here I'm going to find the 3D pie. Click this, that looks real good. You'll notice that when you hover over it you get a zoomed in view of what it will look like. Then I'm going to click OK and there it is. It's super easy, super fast. Next I want to reposition this. I'm going to reposition the top left corner of my chart in the top left corner of cell A17. So I'll move that down. Boop. Now that it's in place, I'm going to come up to my Pivot Chart Analyze ribbon tab. And then over here in the Show Hide group, I'm going to click the top half of Field Buttons. Now watch the chart when I do this. See those, see those buttons go away? Let me do it again. Oop, close that down do this, they're turned on. If I click it again, they go away and it shows me more of my chart. It's nice. Next, I want to rename the title. So I'm going to double click inside there and call this Revenue by Rep. Just like that. I'll click outside of it just anywhere. Next, what I want to do is I want to change the design of this. So I'm going to come here to my Design tab. Come on, close that down. And then here in the Chart Styles group, I'm going to click the More button. Remember, every gallery has a More button. And then I'm going to find Style 9. Look at that. There it is. Boop. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, there are many, 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 many more things we can do with this. But this is just a basic pivot chart. This chart reflects everything that's in this pivot table itself, which reflects the data set that we imported earlier or actually created a connection to, right? We created a connection to a folder that has two separate files in it right now. So everything we see here is reflective of that. Pretty easy. Now if I wanted to, let me just show you one last thing. We have lots of extra time. I could go into this chart like any other type of chart. This happens to be a pivot chart. But like any other chart, I could, I could accentuate individual elements within this chart. If I click a number of times, see how the 7%, which is a uh, chin here, 7% uh, is uh, now identified. I can click and drag that out to kind of accentuate that. Look at that. There's a lot of cool things we can do, but I'm going to leave it at that. There you go. Well, I hope this was informational. And, uh, and in the next exercise, we're going to look at using some slicers. And how do we use them? And where do we find them? And all those things. We'll see you in the next exercise. Thank you.